What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codeby.com and in this video, we're going to create an ad post page to our blog app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add an ad post page to our Django blog app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so we've been working on our blog app here in Django, and we've got a couple of posts. We've got a post page, and when we click on one of these, it goes to the actual post, and we can click back, and we've got some navigation and that works. So in this video, we want to create a page so that we can create a new blog post from our app. And you know, right now we've got this admin area and this is what we've been using up until now. So if you type in your username and password, you've got your posts here. If you want to add a post, you click on this add post and then you enter it in here and click save and then that works. Well, that's okay. I mean, you could keep it like that if you want, but if you want an actual page on your website where you can actually type a post and uh, and things like that, we need to make some changes. Now, obviously you're not gonna want a page like this just open to the world to where anybody can create a blog post. And we'll talk about authentication later on. In this video, I just wanna create the page that allows us to make blog posts. And it's actually surprisingly simple. So let's head back over to our code and you know, whenever we create a, any sort of web page in Django, it's always a three step process. We got to create a template file, we need a view, and we need a URL. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. So let's go to our templates, right click and create a new file. And let's just go file save as and let's just call this add underscore post dot HTML really doesn't matter what you call it. And we can go to any of our other pages like our home page. And let's just sort of grab all of this and copy and go to our where did it go? Add post page and paste it in. Now this is going to be uh, add blog post or whatever. And this we need to take out. But the rest of this can pretty much stay the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and just save that for now, just to have some page to, to work with. And we'll tweak this later on, obviously. So now let's head over to our, let's see, views.py. And up until now, we've got these two things we're using, list view and detail view. And if you remember, the list view is the thing that puts all of our blog posts on the main page. The detail view is the thing that puts one blog post on a page. So, you know, when we go back to our app and we click on one of these, it's calling the detail view, and this is the detail view, right? Well, now we want to use something called a create view. And so we just import that here. It's just create view. And it does exactly what it sounds like. It creates things, posts in this case. So let's come down here and add a new class here. Let's go class. And what do we want to call this? Let's just call it add post view, maybe. And inside of here, we want to pass this create view. Just like we pass the detail view into this one and the list view into this one for each of these pages. So, okay. Now, just like all the rest, we need to define what our model is, it's post, and we need to give it a template name. And what did we just call this thing? Add underscore post dot HTML. And now we need to designate which fields we want on this page, right? And the fields are from our models.py. So we have to choose, choose from title, title tag, author and body. Now we can just put them all on the page if we want. And I think that's what I'll do. I'll show you how to do them individually in, in a minute. But to put them all, we just go fields and we just define what fields we want. And so I'm gonna go underscore, underscore, all, underscore, underscore. And that will put all of our fields up on the page. So, okay, go ahead and save that. Now we need a URL. So let's head over to our urls.py file and let's create a new one. Let's go path. Now, what do we want this path to be? And like the URL, I don't know, add post maybe, or just post, whatever you want. We'll go add post. And now this is an add post view because let's see, where's our views.py file? We just, we grab this thing, right? And then it's dot as underscore view, 
just like with these other two. And again, up here, we need to now import that view as well, right? And then finally, we give this a name. And what do we want to call this? Doesn't really matter. Let's call it add underscore post. Make sure we've got our commas and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And that should work. So now we can go hopefully to this page, our add post page. And uh, it should just work, right? Make sure your server's running. And boom, there it is, add blog post. Now there's nothing there yet, but uh, that works. So now while we're thinking about it, let's change this link to this page so we can just click this to add our post. So let's head back over to our base.html. And in our nav bar code, we can see here's this link. Let's change this to add post. And then inside of here, we want a Django URL tag. So it's just URL. And then where do we want to put this? Where do we want to point this? Well, whatever we named this line here, whatever we named this URL right here, we can just pass that in there, save it, and that should work. So let's make sure this worked. All right, so add post, boom, we go to our add blog post page. Okay, very cool. So now we need to put the actual form on the page so that we can actually make blog posts, right? So let's head back over to our add post.html thing. And here it says add blog post. I'm going to change this to add post just to make it a little sleeker. And now we want to, let's see, create a form with a method equals to post, right? And then we need to create a CSRF token. And the CSRF token is a cross site request forgery token. It's every web development framework uses them with forms so that hackers can't steal the information between submission of a form and, and acceptance of a form, etc. So we just do that CSRF underscore token. And that's all we have to do there. So now we want the actual form itself. And I'm just going to use the Django form system. You know, in a lot of my past videos, I've created forms manually because a lot of times that's easier. But in this case, I'm just going to use the Django form system to sort of uh, break it up a little bit. So we just call form dot as underscore P, right? Now we also want a button here. So let's go button. And let's say post, let's just call this button post. Okay, now that should work. So let's go ahead and save this and come back here and see. Now if we hit reload, boom, here is our, our thing. Now, this button looks kind of wonky. Remember, we can go always go to get bootstrap and get a different button. So click on documentation, go to components, and then go to buttons. And we like this secondary button, which is this one right here. So we could just give this a class of btn btn secondary to our button field here. And that should do the trick. So let's just do that. Save it. Reload, boom, now we got this button. Now obviously, this form needs some formatting. Right? There's no formatting here. This is just the default Django formatting. And uh, we're probably going to do that in another video. This one's getting a little bit long. But uh, yeah, this works. So let's let's add some line breaks here just to push this down a little. All right, so we can give this a try. So let's say this is my third blog post. And here the title tag is already filled up for us because remember when we did our model, in the last video, we changed this to have a default of my freaking awesome blog. And the only reason we did that is because we added this field later after we'd already created some blog posts. So we had to do that. Normally, if you were doing this from the beginning, you wouldn't have to put this default thing. And in that case, this field would be blank, but we can change this. So what? remember the title tag is this thing up here, right here it says my freaking awesome blog. Um, but let's go ahead and change this to uh, my awesome third post. And we could pick the author, admin, and we could say this is my third blog post. I wrote it on the web page. <laughs> right? So now if we click this post, uh oh, we got an error. So we need to 
uh, do some some things here. Now look what this says, no URL to redirect to. And what's going on here is it, it doesn't know where to go after we click the button. So we need to change that. So let's head back over and we actually do this in our models.py file. So let's open that up again. And here's our model or post model or title, title, tag, author, and body. And here's the little section, remember, that uh, does the formatting for our admin section. And just underneath this, sort of still lined up with this, we need to create another function. Let's call this def uh, get underscore absolute underscore URL. And we want to pass self here. Now, why are we calling this get absolute URL? Well, if we go back, and this is why I showed you this error here, instead of just doing it to begin with, we can see it's it's looking for a definition for get absolute URL, the get absolute URL method on the model. It's telling us right here, we need this method on our model. So that's what we're gonna do. We come to our model, we're gonna add this method, piece of cake. So now we just need to return and then tell it where to go. So I wanna turn, I wanna do the reverse and we wanna uh, define this, but first, we need to import reverse, which is a module. So we can go from django.urls, import reverse. And here we want to point this back to the article details page, right? And if we look at our urls.py file, that was this thing right here for uh, article dash detail. So let's copy this head back to our models.py. So we want to go article detail. And then we need to pass some args here, some arguments, because we need to tell this what article detail page to go to, right? So we can go args equals, and this is a string. And inside of this string, we want to pass self dot ID. And remember, anytime something is created in our model, it's given an ID. Sometimes we call it a primary key. Sometimes we just call it an ID. They're both the same thing. And here we can reference that uh, right here and tell this thing where to go. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. Now we can come back here and go back or we can hit reload and we can post this thing again. And boom, this is my third blog post. It, it takes us to the blog post page itself and a uh, piece of cake. And we can see now article four, we had three before, but I think since we clicked the button twice, it created a blog post twice. So uh, we might have to mess with that. Uh, so that's cool. So you can see up here, my awesome third post is the title of the title tag. This is my third blog post, the actual title. Here's the content itself by John Elder. Cool. And if we click back, we see, yeah, this is my third blog post has been added again. So I'm going to take that out real quick. And it's a good segue into we need to create some functionality on our web page itself so that we can delete these or edit them. We'll do that in the next video. But for now, we can just go to the admin area, click on posts, see, let's see this one. And we can just click here and say delete and boom. Yes, I'm sure. All right. Then if we come back here, now there's only three. And if we click on this, it works. So very cool. Now one last thing, if we click on this, it still says my freaking awesome blog at the top here. So and if we go to our ad post, well, let's go to our article detail because we did it on that page. Let's just copy this line of code. Remember, we learned how to do this, I think, in the last video. So we can add this here. Instead of post title, we can say, well, we could just write some text. Uh, we could say create a new blog post, right? And if we save this and head back and hit reload, boom, now appears this create a new blog post. And that's cool. So, you know, we are redirecting here after we click this button to the actual page itself. For instance, here, if you wanted to, you could, you know, maybe redirect instead to your homepage, and then you wouldn't have to pass any args. And in fact, you probably wouldn't really need to pass anything. We could change this. Well, let's just do that real quick. Let's change it to the home page. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing. And instead of article detail, we will just go home here. And we don't need to pass any args because we're just going home. All right. So now if we come back here and let's add a post and let's say post the fourth. Test fourth post author admin. Hello world. 
four. <laughs> I don't know. Now if we click this, boom, it just goes straight back to the home page. So whichever way you want to do it, you know, it's totally up to you. But uh, very cool. If we click this, boom, hello fourth world, everything still works right. All right, now one more thing I wanted to mention, we're putting out all of our fields on this page, the title, the title tag, the author and the body. And those come from obviously from our models.py file, these are these fields right here, title, title tag, author and body. And remember when we first created this thing on our views.py file, we put the fields equal to all. And I mentioned that you don't have to put all if you don't want, you can designate certain ones. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And to do that, it's really easy. You just, let's go fields equal, and you just create a Python list, and then you just pass in whichever ones you want. So you can go say title, and separate them by comma, and then say body. Let's save this, and these two things here, I'm just getting them straight from our models.py file. So it's these things right here, the title, the title tag, the author and body. So we're picking the title and the body here. You can do any variation that you want, a bunch of reasons why you might want to leave out certain fields in your model from your host page. And oh, forgot the S. So let's go fields, save this, come back here, reload, boom, now we just have the title and the body, right? So uh, pretty easy to do that. Let's go ahead and change this back real quick. And one more thing I want to show you, uh, just uncomment and comment. One more thing really quickly I want to show you if we hit reload. Now we've got this title tag and remember we have this my freaking awesome blog it's kind of bothering me. We don't need to do that anymore. We only had to do that the very first time when we added this field later on because we already had two blog posts created and those two blog posts didn't have title tags. So we had to designate a default field. Well, we're all up to speed now. We don't need to keep having this every time. So we can just take that out if we want. Head back over to our models.py file and then just come over here to our default thing here and we can just take this out, right? We don't even have to make a new migration or anything. We don't have to push the migration. We don't have to migrate. We don't have to do anything. We can just uh, take that out, save it. Now, if we come back here and hit reload, boom, that title tag is gone and it still works. We can go uh, five, Title tag five, <laughs> author and men, and let's say fifth post, boom, and it goes back and it works and everything's fine. So um, I wanna take that out <laughs> and that's cool. So very, very easy. I think you'll agree to create an ad post page. Now, obviously this needs to be formatted a little bit and, and stuff like this. If we just click this, we get some uh, authentication stuff here or whatever you wanna call this. Uh, troubleshooting, whatever. It says, hey, you forgot some things here, right? So that's cool, Django has that built in. So uh, very cool and uh, very easy. We just really added a little thing here to our models.py, created this add post and did this as form thing that creates all the form stuff for us. We've got our CSRF token. If you're curious what that is, we can come back here and view the page source. I just right clicked and come down to the actual form itself. And you can see right here, here's the CSRF middleware token. It just creates a value of this long sort of uh, random number of key thing that helps somehow protect your form from hackers hijacking it. And uh, you can see this is the rest of the actual form itself. So there's a label for each one, title, title tag, author, and body. Uh, each one has a type of text and a name, title tag, for instance, and an ID. So we can, and it also has a max length based on our model because we define that in the model. So obviously we can, we can format this, we can give this some CSS styling, we can use bootstrap on this, and we'll get into that in probably maybe the next video or so. But for now, I just wanted to get the functionality of this thing up and running and, and show you how easy it is to do it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So it pays just $49 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF versions of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 95,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.